हेलो ग्रेप फैमिली वेलकम टू अनदर वीकली अपडेट वीडियो आई होप दैट आर ऑल होल्डिंग अप वेल आई फील लाइक दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी एक्साइटिंग बिकॉज आई हैव सम इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स टू शेयर रिगार्डिंग विनियम सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट वुड बी ऑफकोर्स द प्राइज ऑफ ग्रेप विद द ऑटो कंपाउंडिंग एंड द वॉल्यूम फ्रॉम एक्स ग्रेप वी सॉ अ चेंज इन द ट्रेंड फ्रॉम जीरो पॉइंट टू थ्री डॉलर्स the price climbed to almost 0.35 dollars and then back again to 0.3 dollars we saw some big buys coming in at 0.24 dollars and then again 0.28 dollars after which we saw a few sells right around 0.32 dollars which is of course is very natural after the price increase from here i would suggest you that you should continue dcaing your money if you are bullish on grape The liquidity is sitting strong at almost five hundred thousand dollars, with a market cap of one point four million dollars. The circulating supply of grape has continued to gone down. The circulating supply of grape, as of right now, is four point five nine million tokens. And LB in the last AMA mentioned the winemaker game burned almost ten thousand grape in a single week. So that is quite bullish, if you ask me. so you now know how successful and helpful wine maker has been for the grape let's now move on to the share token which is wine wine somewhat did the same thing as grape where it fell to its lowest at 11 dollars and then managed to climb back all the way up to 25 dollars like grape wine also saw some sells right around 23 dollars and 21 dollars right now after all the sells Wine is sitting at eighteen point five dollars. The liquidity for wine is also looking strong at almost three hundred thousand dollars, with a market cap of nine hundred thousand dollars. Here, like grape, I would also suggest you that you should DCA if you are bullish on wine. Always have some dry powder on the side so that you can buy all of these dips. There are a few things that are going to be coming. that will help both grape as well as wine the team is doing a lot of things behind the scenes you know your viewers can help grape finance how by smashing the like button and subscribing to grapes youtube that is it for the grape and wine token let's now move on to the nft collections of grape finance first one is of course the winery collection Now I'm sure you would be aware of the fact that you would be able to collateralize your winery collection NFTs in the Vinium. More information on that will be released soon. For now, the floor price of the winery collection is sitting at 5 AVX compared to the last week of 3.9 AVX. Again, like I mentioned in the previous recaps, there are some pretty good deals right here. And like the saying goes, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So if you have some spare AVX then buying one of these NFTs would be a good option right now. Again, if you want to delve deeper into the technicals of these NFTs, you can always check out this stats section. That's it for the winery collection NFTs. Now, it's time to move on to everyone's favorite play to earn game NFTs that is the wine maker. The floor price of the Vintners is sitting at 1.3 AVX which is the same as the last week. The floor doesn't seem to have moved a lot. The total listed count has somewhat stayed stable until now. I am going to share some very exciting things regarding the wine maker game so make sure that you stick around till the end of this video. Spoiler, it's time for new tools. Okay, that is it for the Vintners NFT collection. Let's now move on to the apps of Grape Finance. The first one would be my personal favorite, of course, the Wine Press. Wine Press has been very successful since its launch. The total deposited LPs is sitting at seventeen thousand three hundred and thirty-five Wine Mim LP tokens. The total deposits has almost increased two thousand Wine Mim LP tokens since I last made the recap video, which was only four days ago. so you can see how much people are liking the wine press the returns are also definitely very juicy wine press not only yields a juicy return but it also helps with the liquidity for wine meme at the same time so if you are not in the wine press 
then you're definitely missing out of course not financial advice you should only invest what you're comfortable with that is it for the wine press let's now move on to another press that is the soda press during the previous ama recap video the total deposited lps was right around 133000 grip x grip lp tokens and right now it has increased to 145000 grip x grip lp tokens the current value of those lp tokens is $200000 that is an increase of astonishing 10000 lp tokens in just 4 days so like wine press people are also loving the grape soda press both the presses have been going good so far they both have helped with liquidity building of both grape and wine so i would suggest you all to definitely try either one of these presses or even better both of these presses that is it for the price of grape and wine the nft collections and the presses now you know what time it is it's time to do a recap of the previous ama i suggest you stick around till the end of this video so that you can get to know about pretty serious alphas i'm going to start off with vinium of course because i don't know about you guys but i am very excited regarding the vinium launch it is now confirmed by lb that vinium will definitely launch this week for the grape ogs it will be on the mainnet and the ogs of grape finance will be able to test all of the stuff of vinium of course it will run for a few days for the ogs so that lb can get feedback from the ogs if you are a og in grape finance then i suggest you roll your sleeves and get ready now remember i told you i had some pretty exciting stuff to share with you guys in this video well the first is this i present to you the landing page of vinium finance as of right now there isn't much going on right here but that is understandable because vinium hasn't launched yet so pause this video and take a good look of the website of vinium because i'm pretty sure you guys are going to enjoy using vinium one more alpha i'm going to share with you guys is that if you want to read up on the documentation of vinium finance you can check this twitter channel and go here or you can simply go to the website of vinium and then click on read more now i'm not going to talk too much about vinium otherwise you guys will start calling me a fanboy which i am absolutely okay with so make sure that you don't miss out on the grape recap videos because i am going to keep on sharing some pretty interesting stuff regarding vinium and grape finance speaking of interesting stuff let us now talk about the wine maker game by grape finance it has been now confirmed by lb that we are going to have some pretty interesting and rare tools coming this week so make sure that you get your grape and vintage token ready the new tool isn't going to be very much overpowered it's just going to be slightly better than the hydrometer lb also mentioned that the supply of that new tool will be from 50 to 100 so yeah lb really meant it when he said that tools are going to be very rare another big update is going to come to the wine maker game a new token is going to come to wine maker game no before you get ahead of me it is not going to replace the vintage token moreover the new token will be kind of illiquid token but it will be transferable the new token will only be used in in game this new token is going to be available to mint soon with various assets like grape wine or any other blue chip or stable coin etc the exact details of course are yet to be decided with this new token the burn of grapes would become very easy to track and lastly the point of the wine maker game is to have fun so i think we are going to move in that direction rather than having the only aim of burning grape so yeah you can expect the wine maker game to become more interactive and more fun in the future that is it for the wine maker game i hope that you didn't get very much overwhelmed by this of course you can always check the ama recaps channel in the grape server for a more simplified version of the recaps let us now talk about the notes for a bit someone from the grape community asked a very interesting question the question was can the pending rewards in the grape nodes be used in the wine maker game 
so as to avoid the 50% penalty when claiming. To this, LB answered that with the current node contract, you won't be able to do that. But the plan for the future is to make the node contracts upgradable so that you can add all of these additions in the nodes. So using your pending node grape rewards in the winemaker game might be a possibility and there are chances that this might be implemented in the future. Now someone from the grape community also suggested that we migrate our grape meme swapsicle nodes into something similar to wine press or maybe soda press. And if not that, can we just migrate grape meme swapsicle nodes into the soda press for more deeper liquidity. LB mentioned that this can be done. A voting from the grape meme swapsicle node holders would be required for that. Of course, some people would want to do that. Others might not want to do that. So let's see what the team decides regarding the grape meme swapsicle nodes. And of course, as previously mentioned, LB has few different plans for the grape meme swapsicle nodes, but he hasn't made any of them public yet. So I guess we should wait for a week or two to see what LB comes out with. My guess would be that we could use the contract over from our friends at EMP. Now someone from the community asked, why do we need to use the EMP's contract? Because as you know, it has a 24 hour thing where if you don't claim your rewards, the rewards are rolled back into the contract. So some people hate this, some people love this, but all in all, it contributes to the sustainability of the pool. So yeah, nothing set in the stone yet. Let's wait for more clarification from LB. A few people have also been worried about the dropping APR in the grip nodes. People said that it was discussed that if you compound, your APRs will increase. While that fact is true, the APR also depends on the TVL of the pool itself. So if very little or no new money comes in into the pool, then the APR will of course drop. You could think of it as a safety mechanism where the pool protects itself from getting drained. That is it for the weekly update and the AMA recap. This week and the next coming week is going to be pretty big for Grape Finance because of all the things that are coming. The first one would be of course a few tools and upgrades in the winemaker game. And the second one would be the daddy of all the utilities that is the lending and borrowing which is called Vinium. On an ending note, you can always pop in into the Grape's Discord server if you have any doubts or questions. The team or mod will be more than happy to answer all your queries. And lastly, do follow the Twitter of Grape Finance to keep yourself updated with the latest news. Smash that like button if you haven't yet and subscribe to Grape Finance's YouTube channel so that we can grow faster than ever. Thank you for showing support and thank you for tuning in into the weekly update video. Signing out and see you in the next weekly update.